Alright, this is Eternal Blade. Welcome to part 45 of the Space Marine Thunderfire Cannon. And we are working. For some reason, I could have sworn that we created this eagle that's supposed to go here. But then again, I already created one somewhere else, so maybe I'm mistaken. But. Um. Right. Let's see what's actually still linked here. Oh, what do you know? Nothing's linked. Oh, oh well, you can do that if you want. Um. Let's look for reference material. Okay, that's how it's supposed to be connected. With these things. So. I think we already did some work here on the bottom. But um. I could extend it. So, select these rear verts here. Don't select any of those. View. Cylinder to hold it in place, and all right, that is good to go. Make them gray. copy it for the other ones. Quick fix to a problem which wasn't very nice. Alright, next let's um here. Rather big. These are going to be where the stabilizer feet are. 26. Seems like a good number. W button is malfunction. There we go. Let's see if we have any Increase the height on this. Bring it right out. So that it's barely touching. And convert to editable poly. Bevel. Just give it some quick little bevels here. or something. Next, make a box over here. And, and just have that little end piece sticking out. Um, convert to editable poly. Select these polys here. And scale them in. 
next, I'm going to select this, edge, chamfer, give it a nice chamfer, cylinder, six sides, make two of them. This is what's holding it in place. Um, Next, let's build a box. Um, build a box. About yay long. Should we have a reference image for this? So. Tilted a bit. I think it's on that piece tilted. No, it's not possible. There's okay. So what we're going to do is rotate this 90 degrees. Polygon and this polygon. Extrude them. Amazingly, I got the same one on both sides. What I do is just extrude right in there. Um, oops. Control click the vertices and scale it in. That way, make it this. Can rotate, and this can not rotate. Okay, undo that. Open your box right in here. It does the exact same thing. First, let's get this thing out of the way. So, left viewport, kind of stick it right in the center there, convert to an editable poly, select both faces, inset, extrude, um, in. Okay, cylinder, let's get a um, few big cylinders in, so let's make them long, 18 sides, make them a bit smaller, radius about 1.8, okay. Boolean. However, before you do that, make sure that these things are actually inside of it. There we go. Probulean, then pick them out. Go to edit a little poly. And let's just scale it inward. That'll be it for um, part 45. I'll see you in part 46.